Hello and welcome to Language Ladder. In this video, we are going to read about the story, His First Flight. Thereafter, we look at the analysis, the important notes, as well as the important questions that usually come in exam. So stay tuned. The important characters of the story are Young Seagull, who is the main character, Mother Seagull, Father Seagull and two brothers and a sister of the young seagull. The story takes place at the cliff which is at the edge of a sea and the sea itself. And the main conflict of the story is the young seagull is too afraid to fly. He thinks his wings aren't strong enough to support his flight. Let's look at the story at a glance. The story is about a young seagull who is too afraid to fly. He fears that his wings aren't strong enough to support him. His parents cajole him, that is, persuade him, scold him and even threaten him to at least try, but nothing seems to work. They decide to starve him. The family of seagulls fly to the opposite cliff, leaving the young seagull alone. 24 hours later, sensing that the young seagull is terribly hungry by now, the mother seagull decides to use food as a trap. She picks up a piece of fish, which the young seagull has been eyeing greedily, and flies across to him. She then tricks him to come to the edge of the cliff as she hauls a little away from the edge of the cliff. Blinded by hunger, the young seagull could no longer stop himself. He dives into the air to take the piece of fish from his mother and eventually discovers that he could fly. All he needs is to trust his wings. The story successfully captures how important it is to trust one's abilities and overcome fear in order to be successful in life. In the next part of the video, we look at the important incidents and exam questions based on them. Pay attention to the red boxes on the right which covers the questions that can be asked based on the incidents that we'll discuss. The first paragraph introduces the main character and the main conflict of the story. The young seagull was standing on his ledge alone. His two brothers and a sister had already learned to fly, but he was too afraid to fly with them. He was unable to trust his wings and feared that they weren't strong enough to support him. He attempted to flap his wings and take the plunge, but the sight of the sea and height from which he had to dive frightened him. He ran back and hid into his ledge. His parents cajoled him, scolded him and even threatened him, but nothing could make him change his mind. So they decide to starve him by leaving him alone and fly to the opposite cliff. The next part of the story shows what happens 24 hours later. The young seagull is miserable. Nobody has come near him in the last 24 hours and he's terribly hungry by now. In the past 24 hours, he saw his siblings working hard to improve their flight and make it perfect. His parents teaching them how to catch a fish and his brother catches his first fish. He could see his parents and siblings taunting him for being a coward. The day was getting hotter and the young seagull was feeling quite weak as he hasn't eaten anything in the last 24 hours. He saw his brothers and sister taking a nap on the opposite cliff. His father was busy tidying up his feathers. Nobody took any notice of him except his mother. He called out to her, almost begging for food. At first, she dismisses his cry. A few minutes later, to the young seagull's surprise, his mother picks up a piece of fish and flies across towards him. He cries in joy. He goes towards the edge of the cliff, 
tapping his feet in excitement, leaning forward, eagerly waiting for his mother. As soon as she reaches close enough to the young seagull, she stops in the middle of the air. She was almost there but still out of reach. Now this makes him very restless. By now he was famished and the sight of food in his mother's beak maddened him. So without thinking about his fear of flight, he dives at the fish stuck in his mother's beak. And the next second, he finds himself falling. His heart stops beating for a moment. He's numb with fear. But this lasts only for a moment. The very next second, he spreads his wings and begins to soar. Soon he's joined by his family, screaming loudly, celebrating his first flight and his victory or fear. The young seagull soon forgets all about his fear and enjoys this newfound freedom. It's liberating for him. He soars and dives freely in the air. Soon the family lands on the green flooring, that is the sea. The young seagull follows them. As soon as he tries to stand on the sea, his, leg his legs sink into the water. He screams out of fear and tries to fly again. But he hasn't got any strength left in the body as he was too hungry and tired by this new exercise. Then his belly touches the water and he begins to float. Once again his family praises him for his efforts and offers him scraps of dogfish as his reward. In the last part of the video, we look at some long answer questions which are frequently asked in the exams and some sample answers. Please read these questions and answers carefully as they'll help you prepare for your exams better.